Hey, what's up guys? So today I'll be showing you how to animate in real life. So at the end of the video, you probably get results like this. So yeah, let's get started to it. So first, you're gonna need to of course launch Cinema 4D. And you need to choose your picture for the picture to animate. So first, go ahead and load the background. And double click right here. Here, ma there will be a um, something called matte and a sphere right here. So if you click color, you see texture, all this color brightness texture. Click texture, click this dot 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 button here, and go ahead and choose the picture you want. So I'm going to choose my garden right here. Click no, it's not necessary, but you can do it if you want. So you need to disable specular. What specular does, it gives a kind of shine to your material or whatever. So you, you don't want that because you want the background. So disable specular. Okay, and right click right here. And click plain back light. Okay. So drag it to background right here. So you got your background right here. So what you need to do is go to your picture right here. Go and click a picture click properties details and you can see the resolution of your picture so it will be image dim dimensions and there will be width and height here so there's 3872 2592 you don't have to follow mine it's according to your picture so you need to click this button right here click output then change it to your picture resolution so 3872 2592 so this will be a resolution so this is a tutorial for beginners so i won't be going too fast and stuff and i'll exp i'll try my best to explain almost everything i can all right so what you want to do now you can see that 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 that's a wait, let me just carry out this you can see that there's lines like a floor or something so yeah so you want to make that floor like like your in your picture same angle and height or something like that so let me zoom out a bit so let me set this right here okay that should do it hold on Okay, that should do it so you don't want to lose your your how do you say that like um, like the angle that you have used you want to lose that because you have well you maybe I spent a lot of time into positioning it so you don't lose it and you still have to click this button right here click, hold it and click camera all right so you got camera right here and and if you zoom out, you can see that it, there's this green thing right here. So, yeah. So, it means now you are in the rendering view. Which means this is what it shows when you render it. So, if you click right here, if you click the black thing right here, it will turn white. So, you can move around all you want because this is the camera view. Which you can, it's not the render view. Alright, so let's change back to render view. And what you want to do now, it's you want to go. Uh, I'm going to make a nether portal here, right? My garden. So you can go load some obsidian and portals. So I'm going to use Wheat Lion's model pack. So let me drag this right here. Okay. So let's just load, load obsidian. Um, no, not right here. Maybe nether. Okay, we need these two. Yep, there you go. Okay, so in if you haven't known, in real life, one one um block it is is equals to 100 centimeters or also one meter all right 
so this should be about the size I know if it's in real life of one meter um, sort of but it's okay so in real life a block of obsidian will probably look like this well if it's too big for a picture then you can set it by clicking right here so you can do divide by 2 or multiply by 2 or you, depends so I'm go just going to keep it right here and I'm going to make a nether portal so so if you move this like that you can see that the X position changes so as I said 1 meter is equals to 1 block so if you want to move this exactly right beside block you need to plus plus oh, yeah 100 right here and as you can see it changes so let's just change the camera view and change this to this and again oops sorry okay so a nether portal is 4 by 6 I think 4 by 6 blocks so you already got your base right here so to make things easier oh wait let's just make the side first so the Y position is the upwards and downwards pos position the Y right here so of course you have to add 150 make a copy of that oh yeah to make a copy you can hold control and drag it right here so hold control drag it or R you can just use control press control C and control V that's copy and paste so you can change the wire right here let's just make a teleporter all right so you got your base right here so to make things easier so you don't have to one by one copy blocks you can select this right here you can press shift and shift and select the blocks so you can hit ctrl c and ctrl v or you can just hold ctrl and drag the blocks so sorry so that it's 4 meters right here so I need to click 450 meters there so and let's copy these blocks ctrl c ctrl v and oops probably 500 Hold on. okay so that's 3 meters right here so you can plus 300 oops sorry that that's minus because if you move it right here you can see the number decreases so minus 300 there so you got a perfect nether portal here so now you take you can group to make things um, less messier you can see that there's a lot of obsidian blocks right here so what you can do is you can select all of them and you can group them group objects so you can name that to the nether portal oops sorry not that mind so you have this so you can, you can load up this purple thingy right here and you can position it like yeah so first you need to rotate it 90 perfectly 90 degrees or you can just use this right here but i would recommend using right here because it's more precise okay so you want to position it So you can just use the position of this nether block so you can see that the y position is 200 my negative 200 and the x position is negative 50 so you want the, the x position to be the same but the y position to be higher so yeah so fifth my negative 50 
Oops, sorry. Wait, never mind. They have different positions. Yes. Okay, let's just. Okay, add that, add 100, 100 again, so I'm a self-taught animator, so forgive me if I do some mistakes, but I hope I can help you out, okay, so you got that right there, so you don't have to do block by block, like I said, so you can control V, control V, copy and paste, and add 700. Add 100 right here. Oops, you don't want that. Okay, so you can see that when before I move it, it's seven six hundred thirty-seven. So when you move it right here, you can make it more precise by changing it seven hundred thirty-seven. Okay, something's wrong here. Okay, now I can just manually um position it. So there you go. It's almost the same. Wait, let me just position that. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so that should do it. And if you render that out, it looks like a normal nether portal. So, if you go to Minecraft, you can see that the portal closed a little bit. So, you have to find the texture of the nether portal, which is this one right here. You can you can use Read Lions model pack, so you can do exactly what I do in this tutorial. So you can double click this right here, um, select Glow. And you can change this to 250. So if you render that out, it looks better. Okay, maybe that's too bright. Let's just change it to 100. Okay, so another thing to make... <coughs> sorry. To make things more realistic. You can click render settings, click effect, ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion gives it like some shading and stuff. So let's just go back to render view so you can see that it looks like the, the nano portal is in my garden. Let's just position it right here. Okay, so that should do it. So what ambient occlusion is, just let me load that picture for a while. Um, hold on. Okay, so as you can see, ambient occlusion you can see there's like a little shade of dark right here because it so it will look like it's really on the ground so I'm going to teach you how to do this so let's just position, position the nether portal here so that should do it so right now you can see that my garden have a floor and the nether portal is on the floor so you can go ahead and select don't don't click floor right here you don't want that click paint clean yeah, so let's resize that and it and set the plants. All right, so that should do it. So after you have resized your plane, you have to drag this texture to the plane. So you can see that's not really, you know. So you wanna click projection right here and click frontal. So if you render it out, it looks it's dark like like the background is darker. So you don't want that. You really don't want that. So you wanna go um, right click right here cinema 4d text composite so click check this and disable self shadowing so so it looks pretty normal right here so as you can see right here the there's gray spots right here so it means that 
if you render that out, the gray spots won't be included. So let's just stop that. Yes. So you don't have to worry about right here. So if you can see the plane outside right here, you don't have to worry about it because it won't be rendered in the picture viewer. Okay. So I'm going to make it darker and to increase the samples. So I'm going to go for 250 right here. So if you render that, oh yeah, another thing, you want to make sure the plane is touching the nether portal, so you can see, so let me set to camera view, you can see that, make, as you can see, make sure, move it upwards until it's slightly above the lines, grey lines, that should do it. Okay, so if you render that out, so you can see there's like dark spots right here. So it looks pretty good, but not really that real. So I'm going to move the, I'm going to group these objects. Group that. Purple thingy. And I'm going to group the narrow portal. Better. Alright, so you got your nether portal on your garden right here. So that's kind of boring. Maybe you can add some of things like I have a Steve right here. So I'm going to load out Steve rig. So I'm using Weed Lions rig because I really suggest using that rig. It costs. I forgot how much does it cost. Hold on. We lion Steve. Steve. Sorry about this. So it costs fifteen dollar. So the the rig costs about fifteen dollars. So I've extracted to the downloads folder right here. So when you drag it in here, you this will pop up. So you're gonna click Steve Rick Custom Skin. If you don't want to buy, you can buy. You can use the the simple one. The but yes, don't really have a lot of features. So you can see that Steve is pretty looks pretty small right here. So you're gonna make sure that the feet is at the ground. So if you change the render view, it looks. Okay, but you want it to be bigger, like this. So if you go use the data, click the rig, select size and drag it, drag the bar so it become bigger. So you can select your own skin too, but you can go, you can you can go see how this rig works by looking at with lines video. I'll post I'll post all the links needed down in the descri description including the model packs and stuff and even my background alright so you got your rig right here let's just make it slightly bigger so you can select custom skin but I'm not going to do that so let's give you some armor because we usually wear some armor when we go to the nether so let's change it to iron Alright, so you got your armor, and if you want, you can give it some, you can go right here, you can see there's accessories, so you can select shoes, but the armor is already um, covering it, so you, it's not necessary, so if you render that out, you can see that the, it looks pretty cool, and you can see the ambient collision has made things look better. So, yeah. Alright. 
so yeah okay so now you want to position the steel freak so you can, as you can see my character has bad legs right here so you have to click this visual selector click that so if nothing appears here like that's just gray you want to go set up click edit view and you have to go select the text so where you can find the text text is, is short form for textures so where you can find text you can find it right here text so it's usually in the cinema folder library so you can't just select this and drag it to a folder or whatever as you can see i can't do that so you can right click it select copy and i would suggest saving it to your pictures folder so you can go pictures so i'll select my cinema for the text right here oops sorry so you can see i have a lot of my text right here so so as you can see i have my visual selector right here already so i'm not going to copy it so you have to click image the dot 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 button cinema for the text the folder just the folder you save it into and you have to visual selector dot tif nope and click back animate select text so you got your right here but usually it will be there if you if you close it and load it up again that thing won't be here but if you just um, load it for the first time the thing will be here but at the second time it won't be so you need to do that so this this um this rig automatically bans in me so it won't be so hard doing this legs like that so you want to click his stomach or belly stomach right here click that and drag it down so you can see the legs bent by itself so drag it upwards a bit so you can okay that's not necessary so you can select the legs right here make it look like it's crouching or something like it's scared like well what where is this there's circles everywhere <laughs> okay so go back use the data and you can give it a sort i'm gonna go for right all right so that feature to it looks pretty cool so let's just so you can see that there's like some space right here so do on that so let's just move it down a bit but not too down because if you move it too down and it won't look too good as you can see it's like it's obviously in the ground so move it up a bit not too much that should do it okay so if you go back random view it looks like that so you can make it look like that and let's move the reporter right here okay so you got your steve right here so let's um go back to camera view and you want, you want to rotate it slightly to make it look like it's looking around or something so i'll make the head look at the house so if you want to move the head you can't just click the head right here and just move it around you see the eyes will be left behind and the teeth too the helmet too so you need to go to visual selector and select the head and the eye the armor and the eyes will be moving too so let's just go to render view sorry let's just okay i'm gonna make it look up look behind so so you can see that steve has entered a pretty weird world he has never seen before so let's just make the 
and you yeah so you can see that Steve has entered a really weird world that extends it so of course he's confused so you want to set the eyebrows like he's confused so let's just end the camera view. so you can so there's this right here that's this eyebrows thing I mean like you can control your eyes right here see and the mouth so if you move it to upwards it'll glitch it out and you can make it smile what so you can make the eyebrows like a few angles down like about 22 degrees or yeah or maybe not too much maybe 17 like that so you can set it at the user data too so you can see right here eyebrow rotation wait where's the rotation yeah, so you can you can place the eyebrow down or up like that. If your skin is has like top very tall eyes, so we can set it right here eyebrow rotation. All right, and I'm going to close the mouth because it looks better. Or you can make it look like it's like shocked or something. But I'm just going to leave the mouth closed. Okay, so let's just rotate it there a bit and make the hands like he's in the attack mode like he's ready to attack so to move the hands you can I either click this blue box right here or you can select from the video selector alright so you don't have to you don't use the rotation you have to use the arrows well depends on the rig you're using so I'm gonna make it look like his hands are like backwards like he's like that like in attack mode so remember if you are using if you are trying to place the hands properly you have to use camera mode or your camera views will get messed up so if you can see right here it's like what the hell is this place it looks pretty cool so as you can see it's like this place yeah you know what I mean okay so let's just let me put this right here put it upward yes that that's perfect okay so if you render that out it looks okay yeah just okay that's not really that real so you can see that there's shadows everywhere at the plants at the place at the whatever place so so you can click this right here and you can see that okay so when you take the picture you have to you have to remember oh sorry you have to record oh man yeah you have to record what time that picture was taken so this was around evening like six o'clock so I'm going to make a light so six o'clock is somewhere it's not directly above so it should be somewhere right here so let's just position light right here or you can it's not necessary for for the light plus it, it's not really necessary but it's better if you do this if like so if the if it's really like orange skyish thing and it's not really that bright you can select the lights color right here if you select all the way orange right here you can see that that's not really you know so you don't want that so you can just select slightly very very slightly so you can see if I just select very slightly right here it already looks pretty dark so I'm just going to go for white right here because it still looks pretty bright so if you go back to render view Oh yeah, you have to um, click shadow and select hard. So you can so if you click hard and the density is hundred percent, you can see that it's the shadow is pretty dark. So that's not really cool. So you have to select the density right here, sixty. Sixty should do it. So if you render that out, that looks better.
Okay. So, so let me just. Oops, sorry. Make that. That that should do it. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I can see that the color doesn't really match the the like the background color so we'll do that in another time probably in another episode so what am I supposed to do so let's just position the light just slightly right here Okay, so if you go, if you see an air portal, sorry. If you see an air portal, let's just search an air portal. So if you can see, you can see there's like purple stars everywhere. It's not really that clear. You, whatever, you know that there's purple stars like this one. So you can make the stars. So what you need to start with is a triangle because stars are triangle so you're going to go you, it's not pyramid it's not polygon it's not cone it is a tube so, yeah so to make a prism you need a tube don't it's not really i don't suggest using pyramid but i mean it's okay if you use pyramid but i'm just going to go with prism so I'm going to go camera view right here I'm going to set the inner radius to 0 or you can just use this orange square right here change it so there will be no hope and make it a small make it shorter ok so that's ok so make a prism you going to go to rotation segments right here and you have to change it to 3 so you can see it became a triangle so I'm going to make the height so I'm going to make elastic curve alright that should do it okay so what you need now you need an array so you need to hold this like star right here hold it and click array so you need to drag it right here drag the tube okay so you need to click the tube hold it and drag it in the area so you can see that the arrow points down if it shows like that move it up to the array until it shows the down arrow which means you are grouping it in the array so what an array does it likes create make surrounds the things for you surround it okay so let's just make the tube slightly bigger so you can see properly okay something's wrong here oh never mind okay so you can see right here they have created like some sort of pattern so you know it's too big for face small star so you need to click array and radius you need to drag it down okay so you can see you have a cool star right here let's just make it yep so let's so for the radius of far should do it and you can change the point of the star by using the tree like you, if you want a 4 point star you can do 4 and make the radius so it looks like that like it's some shuriken or something so I'm just going to go with this one okay so you got a star right here and you can see that it's horizontal like facing the ground so make things easier like you know it's hard to see from here like 
what is the position or how far it is away from the portal so you need to click this two square right here so you need to click this two square right here and you can see from different angles so you can see right here it's not directly in front of the portal so okay let's just make the tube slightly smaller because the star is not really that big so auto radius let's just divide by 1 by 3 maybe more so that should do it okay so you can so hold on yeah so this is the star right here you move you can move it to the in front of the portal directly in front and you want it to be like slightly at the middle of the portal so you can put it right here and for the tube we can rotate it to 90 degrees sorry uh, yeah so that should do it so you can see that's horizontal so you just select that select that right there and change this to 90 degrees and let's just set that height to 5 5 should be good yeah that's that's perfect okay so drag this texture right to the star to the area right here so if you render that out So you can see that it has a glue right here okay so it looks cool so you can change back to random mode so you can add more stars like those sprinkle thingies so like I said you can copy and paste move it up move it down give it a different position make it outwards a bit Sorry for the back background noise guys, my neighbor is having some kind of construction thingy. So it looks pretty cool. So you can see that it looks cool. Let's just add one more star. So, so yeah, it looks cool. Pretty nice. So I've been recording for pretty long right now. 38 minutes then. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make the colors match in the next episode. So let's so after you're done with your animation, I mean like your modeling and stuff, you wanna click right here, render the picture view. Alright, so I forgot another thing, sorry about that. So you have to click right here. So if you render how you can see that it's not really that clear. So you click right here, click save. Oh no, sorry, output. Um, no, nope, not output. Yeah, anti-aliasing. So you click best, and if you want it to be the very very best, go ahead and select 16, 16. I'm go for it by it. But if you select it to like very um high it will take a longer time to render um so that should do it so let's just render a picture of you so after you're done so yeah so after you're done you have to click save as save as after you click that there will be you s select PNG, JPG, EG, or if you are using Mac, you can use the QuickTime image or whatever. So you can just if you want to edit it for the shop, we will be doing that in the next episode. So I'm going to select PNG and just save it to a place. I'll just name it um, Steve goes to my garden. 
okay so you can click save so yeah it's not really rendered finished so that's so that's all for this animating real life episode tutorial so at the next episode we'll be setting the color of Steve so that it matches the picture so I'll see you next time leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to me leave a like if you if this helped you out and subscribe to see more of my videos it helps me a lot so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye